how can somebody find out if their radiation oncologist is kind of practicing in your philosophy? You know, it's it's difficult in terms of uh, actual metrics, very much like it, even, even for the surgeons, like, you know, Ted is, has excellent outcomes, but it's not like it's a published series. You just have to kind of- And not only that, the best surgeons often are treating the hardest cases. True. So, so there, there, it's a handicap right there. It's a there. handicap right 100%. there. 100%. Yeah. So, you know, it really comes down to finding someone who's got, got the experience. And in my case, because we do so much prostate, I think I've done something close to, in the modern era, 7,000 cases, probably 10,000 when you include the pre image guided radiation days um, someone who specializes in the area that uh, that the cancer is located in so someone like me I may be extremely experienced in breast and prostate but maybe for a pediatric malignancy you're not going to come to me you're going to go somewhere else or a CNS or something that's unusual you have to find the right tool for the job but you have to just interview your doctor I don't think there's anything specific to radiation that's really uh, and asking about complications factor. right I think being very open with them saying yeah exactly and so uh, ideally maybe you you come to someone who knows something like I get a lot of patients who aren't familiar with the field but they'll have a patient they'll have a family member that's a nurse or a dentist or a veterinarian or whatever it is someone that has some medical background they can say okay let me ask them more specific questions and these days with with the internet you can do all kinds of research in terms of like like when I'm when I'm talking about matching my my volume of the dose distribution to exactly conform to the tumor volume, that's something that's very easy to talk about. But I mean, for a, for a uh, educated patient, they can ask to see the actual computer simulations. So a lot of my engineering patients. I was just about to say, engineers probably have an easier time. They than do. My love my, and my engineering patients are really the only ones who do this. And I'll be I usually pull out all the graphs. I show them dose volume histograms with area under the curve for each organ, and you can see okay, the prostate dose area under the curve is huge. The dose of the bladder and the rectum is super low. You can actually quantify that, but for a lay lay patient, it's it's hard. You know, it's not that easy to do that. You really got to go with. I think a lot of it you have to go with your gut too, in terms of this guy's had a lot of experience. And the initial consultation is where it all comes down. I'll spend an hour with the patient and go through every little nuance of what could and couldn't happen. And my main. I think my main MO is to sort of over prepare them and have them be pleasantly surprised, maybe when the side effects aren't as bad, rather than the other way around. And you just, it's it's hard to find the right person, but there's a lot of good doctors out there. So. 